Hey there, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Look at all these extra boxes I have. <laughs> I know. Uh, so I've already done a ton of videos throughout the month. Uh, I have a whole bunch of new boxes coming. Uh, so start keeping an eye out for those. Um, probably March 1st um, so a lot of the boxes will be coming throughout fe February but I've got to film them and get them uploaded for you guys to see uh, but that is something exciting that's going to be coming over the next couple of months is a whole bunch of new boxes to the channel so keep an eye out for those um, but these are just a whole bunch of boxes that I had at the end of the month that were either late January's or early February's and I figure I would just film them so you guys could see them uh, so it's not really a second chances video it's more like a I didn't arrive in time for the filming schedule video uh, so we have one two three four five six seven seven boxes to go through is that right one two three four yes <laughs> um, so th I don't think any of these are new some of them like this box on tap only comes like once a quarter so you don't see it as often uh, the tea box is fairly new but I have opened it before we'll go through them all um, they're all ones you've seen on my channel at least once before, um, but they're definitely not second chances because like this one down here, you guys see every month because I love it and rave about it. <laughs> all right, we're going to start on top. The Walmart Beauty Box. Do you get it? Do you love it? <laughs> uh, all right, do you know what it is? Let me start there. So the Walmart Beauty Box is a quarterly box. Um, it used to be free, but they charge you five dollars in shipping. So really it was five dollars now instead of it being free plus shipping um, It's just a six, flat six ninety five no shipping. So basically it's seven bucks now instead of five bucks um, They make it sound like it went up seven dollars, but it didn't really because they were charging you five dollars in shipping uh, And it's a just a mix of beauty and skincare products. There's usually some makeup products in here Um and I love this box. I got to tell you, everything in the box gets used every time I get it. Uh, a lot of the stuff in here, even my husband likes, uh, you know, like the skincare. Uh, let's get into it and you can see what's in it. We've got the Walmart beauty box. Oh, and a little cheat sheet. Let's see what's in here. Um, Dove between washes for times when washing is not part of the plan, but beautiful hair is. Oh, it's a dry conditioner. Hmm, okay. I don't know. What? I am just not on board with the dry shampoo and dry conditioner movement. Uh, my hair, I think, maybe is too oily for that plan. I don't know. But if you guys are into it, um, this will probably actually end up going in somebody's giveaway bag because I don't really use these products. Um, sunken, I think is what this says. Let's see. Sunken original oh, glass bottle. Oh, no, it's plastic. Original hydrating mist toner, paraben and alcohol free with chamomile and rose. Okay, nice. Let's see, and it is on here. Full size is $10. That's another great thing about the Walmart products. You get to try all these products and if you actually like them, they're not expensive. Um, formulated with rose water and chamomile to help soothe and refresh tired skin. Okay. We got some a true foil sample. <laughs> Don't see a lot of those. Garnier Green Labs Line Smoothing Serum Cream with Retinol and Berry. Fragrance free, but it's berry. Weird, right? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Full size seventeen dollars, but who knows what the full size looks like? We've got some oh some liquid IV hydration multiplier. Okay, with cellular transport technology. I have to ask my husband about that. He's the scientist in the family. But it's strawberry flavored. <laughs> okay. We've got some Gold Bond. My husband always steals the lotions out of this box. Pure Moisture Daily Body and, uh, Daily Body and Face Lotion. Okay. 24 hour hydration. Oh, is this a little eyeliner? Let's see. See, I can barely read it. Is it Arch Rivals? Oh, Lottie of London. I didn't know Walmart carried Lottie of London. Hmm. Retractable brow pencil. Okay. Oh, that's actually probably my color. Usually they're too light for me, but that actually is probably my color. And last from Perf oh, Profusion. I didn't know they carried that brand either. Um, I've gotten their liquid eyeliners before, or um, liquid eyeshadows rather. Oh, it's a little mini quad palette. How cute is that? 
perfect for Valentine's Day. I just opened a super cute box with a Valentine's Day palette in it. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products in here for seven bucks. Granted, some of them are, you know, but that's the only one that's particularly tiny though. Uh, let's see, the palette, by the way, they don't have a full size value. They just have the value for the little mini quad and it is five bucks, okay. So pretty much paid for the box by itself. Uh, and like I said, my husband will for sure steal this. And these are usually a couple of bucks too, um, these little travel size ones. So that's the Walmart beauty box. So if you haven't seen it, Target does sometimes do boxes. I might have to order some right now instead of just like a random mystery box. Um, the Target beauty boxes are actually like themed. There's four or five of them right now. Um, and they're slightly different prices. They range from I think about 10 to 15 or so. Uh, don't quote me exactly on that, but if you're looking for some discount beauty boxes, that's a fun one to try out, either the Target or the Walmart boxes. I'm preferential to the Walmart box because one, it's cheaper, and uh, it just seems to be more consistent. All right, moving on. I'm going to get these little packages out of the way. Um, these are the little jewelry ones. Sometimes I do these in their own video, but I figured I'd just throw them in with this end of the month boxes. So this is Ear Fleek. Ear, yeah, Ear Fleek. Hey, I said it right. Uh, comes in this cute little package. What well, actually shows up in your mailbox in this package? This is on the inside. Uh, and it's a earring subscription. They, it's $3.50 a month. You can buy it for the year. Comes out to like $40. And it always has a little tag in it that says that each value, the earrings are almost always valued at $16, but you know how I feel about that. We pay $3 for them, they have a $3 value. <laughs> uh, so you kind of select from a couple of different themes and then they send you earrings, but you also do kind of like a swipe right, swipe left to vote on earrings that you like. And I think they also pick from that selection. So these are cute little, little black lightning bolts. Fun. I get these every month and I hardly ever actually wear earrings, but they're just cute and fun. Um, this makes a great gift if you're looking to send somebody something for a whole year, but you don't want to invest a ton of money in it. You know, the whole year is like 40 bucks. This is Follow. Um, it was formerly the Wildlife Col uh, Collection, I think is what it was called. Um, I really like this one, mostly for the charity aspect of it, um, but it's also a cute little subscription in general. Um, so, oh, yay. so here's what comes with it. This month we're donating to the Sea Turtle Conservancy. Did I say that right? Mm. Um, so each month comes with a little card. If you're not familiar with this, if you haven't seen me unbox it before, uh, it's about $15 a month. Most of that goes to the charity. I don't know the specifics. Um, I don't know. If, I don't think it's a hundred percent because they do have to pay for the stuff that comes in the box. Um, what comes in the box is uh, it used to just come with this, um, which I was already okay with because it's really more about donating to the charity and it's all wildlife charities. Hence the reason it used to be called wildlife collection. I don't know why they changed it to follow. Um, it is follow F A H L O. If you're looking for uh, the company to order it. I'll put the links down below like I always do. Um, but it used to just come with the one animal bracelet to represent whatever animal we're featuring this month. Um, and what you do is you follow your little link right here. You take a little picture of it with your camera. Um, and it takes you to a link where I can track, who are we meeting? Pop-Tart. I can track Pop-Tart. I can see where he's wandered around. Let's see, he's off the coast of Florida. A lot of the animals we track are off the coast of Florida. I don't know if that's because the company is near there or if that's where they do most of the conservation stuff in the U.S. I don't actually know. Um, but an adult female loggerhead sea turtle. Okay, so I will be able to log in and see where she's gone. Um, it follows, it has a satellite transmission tracker so I can see where she's swimming to, where she's nesting, all that fun stuff. Um, but they have started putting this in since they had the brand change. 
Sometimes it would come with like one bonus bracelet, which was nice, um, but it's been coming with, the only thing that's annoying is I think this is actually the third month in a row that has the same, it, technically it's only the second month in a row because I reordered um, and got, I think the same month twice because I canceled and, and then w opened it and was like, wow, I really like the upgrade. Um, so this is one of the shark ones. I'm not tracking the shark. This is just a bonus bracelet. Um, and then it came with all these cute ones. Um, but I've gotten this pack. Well, I actually, like I said, I've gotten three of it now. It's really only two months. I wonder why they just put the same bracelet pack in a second month. I'm not sure, but I think I'll put this back in the bag and send it to one lucky winner in my next giveaway. All right, but I love that. And look how pretty that is. Great beachy vibe, fun bracelet. Like I said, I was happy with the bracelet when it was just this um, because I really was wanting to just contribute to the charities. I loved the concept. All right, up next, the La Tida. So this one is actually an Amazon subscription box. Um, I don't know. You probably could go to latida.com. I don't know. I actually order it from Amazon. Uh, it's where I found it. It's where I've always ordered it from. The first box you can get for $11.50. Um, and that's basically it's half price uh, and then it goes up to whatever that works out to you it, I think it ends up charging me like 2360 or something so that must be with tax um, this particular tea box you know guys you guys know I unbox a ton of tea boxes um, this particular tea box is the one I recommend as a gift um, so either as a one-time or as a repeat subscription um, I do love the teas in it it comes with some sort of cute little well let me just show you so each month has a theme the first one is always the same it's their like um, reserves and intro box and then each month after that you fall into the monthly theme I think it ships on like the 25th of the month Ooh, it looks like our theme is healthy hibiscus okay I like yeah a healthy new year so this is the January box <laughs> Enjoy our curated collection of healthy tea blends to make you feel fabulous. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Okay, so let's see. Uh, last month was a candy themed. Um, and what I appreciate is they're not just novelty teas. The teas actually taste pretty good. So we've got Joint Therapy Green Tea. It's the therapeutic blend um, with ginger and turmeric. Oh, pineapple, blueberry, lemon, verbena. Mm. Okay. And even though, so even though it says like healthy hibiscus and it's the healthy, you would expect those to all be like herbal teas, but this one's caffeinated. Simple Sencha Green, just all natural pan fried green tea. Okay. Excellent. We've got Thriving. This is a hibiscus tea. It's just cut and sifted hibiscus, caffeine free. Oh, it's just hibiscus, interesting. We've got a cleansing detox tea with holy basil, spearmint, rosehip, lemon, um, and linden blossoms, also caffeine free. I don't know about detox tea. Is that gonna make me go to the bathroom? You know what I mean. Yeah, I'll try that green tea stuff. You know what I mean? All right, oh, maybe this one's the one I'm thinking of. Slimming Raspberry Oolong Tea. Oxidized Tai Kuan Yin Oolong with raspberry, apple, cranberry, and hibiscus. This one has caffeine in it. Okay, and one more. So there's always six of these. Uh, so you get your 12, oh wait, is it six? One, two, three, four, five. So five of these, which is 10 servings, and then there's two servings in here. So we're at 12 servings. This is an Earl Grey. Oh, it's an Earl Grey with bergamot. Well, they always have bergamot. Uh, and orange peel. Okay. Uh, oh, I, was, I had to check, actually. So this is actually four in this one. Um, so we have 14 servings of tea. Okay, and these are usually the ones in the little brown uh, package are your like bonus. So we've got one, two, three, four, yep. So our five actual teas that were included in the box and then this one, which is our bonus tea. And then our little gift this month, fresh matcha, 30 sticks in a holder. What is it? Oh, it's incense, okay. Gosh, I don't think I have an incense holder anymore. It's been a minute. 
Oh, look, it came with one. <laughs> mm, they smell good. Okay. Okay, so it's a little incense and the little incense holder in there. Is that everything? I think that's everything for this month. Um, so for 20 plus bucks, what do we get? 14 teas and some incense. Um, like I said, that's why I really recommend this more as a gifting option. Um, I, there, I feel like for me personally, there are better monthly tea boxes out there, but I love the way this one is put together and curated. It really feels like you're opening a gift when you open this box. So that's the La Tea Da box. I don't know if you can see the sticker. La Tea Da. <laughs> So this is the Atlas Tea Club. It is another tea box. Um, this is in my February tea video. Um, this is just, so the boxes that I opened in my February tea box were actually the January boxes. Um, and then the February box showed up right after that. So I actually ended up with three boxes within about three weeks. Uh, so I figured I would just add this one to the end of the month extra boxes video. Let's see where we are going. It looks like we're going to Burma this month. Uh, so if you don't remember, you haven't seen me open this one before. It's Atlas Tea. It's uh, right at about $20 a month. You get two big packages instead of the little packages. Um, and it's themed kind of like um, one of the like treat boxes where it's a different country each month that we travel to. So it looks like we're going to Burma this month. Last month we went to somewhere in Africa. Kenya I think last month and it was like Madagascar the month before that. Um, it does come with a bunch of these tea bags which are nice if you need to make some and take it with you to work. Gives you a little card on the history of that region's tea growing and use or whatever. Tea history. Um, and then on each packet you have your brewing instructions, some details about where and how it's collected. So I've got an Eastern Beauty Oolong. Ooh. And I've got Golden Lily White. All right, and a three and a four on the caffeine scale. Okay, awesome. Ooh, the Golden Lily White has honeysuckle flavor. Nice. Uh, so this is the tea box I recommend for the serious tea drinkers out there. I'm, I'm a serious tea drinker. I drink, I don't know, eight cups of tea a day. I drink a lot of tea. Um, these are pure teas, so it's just going to be your oolong leaf. There's not going to be rose hips and orange petals and a whole bunch of other stuff chopped up and blended together. These are pure leaf. Um, so if that is the kind of tea, like if you really like the flavor of tea and you don't need it to be flavored with a bunch of other stuff, this might be the subscription to check out. You also get a much larger sample of each flavor. You only get two flavors of tea instead of the traditional four or five you would get in a tea box but you get way more of it so you can really try and test out the flavors. Okay, so this is a traditional glossy box, the pink box, very pretty box. Um, the glossy box, usually you can anywhere from 16 to $21, depending on what kind of sale you catch and when you lock in your price. I think I pay around 18 for mine. I can never remember exactly. It falls kind of into that um, middle number. So I usually have in my Mega Beauty unboxing, I usually have three tiers of boxes. I have my low end with like my Ipsy and my Birch box, and then my middle, which is my glossy box, and I think look fantastic um, which are like 18 19 and then the 25 26 dollar ones that's your um, allure and your boxy charm I don't go over, I try not to go over 25 boxy charm is snuck up on us a little bit there it's like 26 and some change uh, but this is the glossy box it's full I like a full box let's see if it's full of stuff we like we've got some julep brightening cleansing cloth Okay. And it looks like one of the beauty rollers. I feel like everyone has one of these by now, or 10. Let's see. Well, this one's black. Hmm. All right, so that will probably go into a giveaway just because I already have several. We've got from Codex Beauty Lab a brightening serum. I'm assuming eye brightening serum because it's super small. Unclear. It just says apply to skin as needed. <laughs> so maybe it's a face brightening serum. Um, it is a serum, so you know it's gonna get last a little longer than if this were a lotion, but still a pretty small sample. We've got some, is this some more of those hair invisible? Those are the hair things, right? 
We've got a moisturizing foot mask. Cool. It's a K Beauty. I don't know the brand. And from Philip Kingsley, some Bond Builder for split end remedy. Oh, we got some of this in another box. Oh, there is one more thing hiding in here. From Bloom, some Daydreamer. Uh, this, I think, is just a lotion. Yep, applied to damp or wet face. Oh no, this is a cleanser, sorry. <laughs> it is a cleanser. I was like, wait, put on wet face, <laughs> what? Yes, it's a cleanser, okay. Uh, so it'll probably go in my travel bag. Um, so, and you know, I've been struggling with both of my medium priced boxes, the Look Fantastic and the Glossy Box. I feel like they're, like they don't have the value for being twice the price of an Ipsy or a Birch Box. I don't have twice the value. They're almost as much as my big boxes, like my Allure and my BoxyCharm, and they're not even close in comparison. Let me know what you guys think. Think these guys are worth it? I don't know. Um, so let's check out the February Singles Box. Um, if you're not familiar with Single Swag and why I love this brand so much, here's the cute hat. Ooh, and it's super soft and fuzzy on the inside. Nice, cute. Got no objections to that. It's a nice little winter hat. Um, the reason I love Single Swag, why I recommend that everybody gets this box, um, is because I pay, is it just under 10? I think it's just under $10 a month, or right at $10. I can't remember off the top of my head. I usually have a little cheat sheet right over here, and I do not right now. Um, but I, pay, I paid for it um, at six months. I got it in a half price sale. I get the um, Single Swag Petite box, which is the cheaper box. Uh, so there's the large box, which is just the regular single swag box, and that comes with um, eight to nine, seven to eight items, eight to nine items. I can't most generally eight items, and then there's the petite box, which comes with five items. One, two, three. Yep, five items. So the bigger box must be seven to eight, and this is five to six, but it's usually five. Um, so with the hat out, it's a pretty sad box this month. Um, the hat was filling it up a little better. But that's okay, I like the hat. We got a sponge gel. Ooh, lavender sky, okay. Mm, that smells really good. And, oh, I forgot the little cheat sheet. We got our little cheat sheet of prices. The winter brand hat was $38, okay. $38 for a hat. That's the only issue I have with this box. So I paid 10 bucks for it. It's got five things in it. As far as I'm concerned, each thing is worth $2. I'm perfectly happy with this box for $2. Um, but they regularly overvalue the price of stuff, particularly the jewelry. We'll get there in a minute. You guys have heard me complain about that lots of times. Um, I feel like this box makes a great gift too because you get this little card that says like, our box today is valued at $122. When really I only paid 10 bucks for it. Um, but if somebody gets this in the mail, they're like, oh my gosh, Kat sent me $122 worth of stuff. Kat sent you $10 worth of stuff. <laughs> All right. The sponge gel, so $20. I get these in the BoxyCharm sale for like five, six bucks all the time. Sometimes four, uh, certainly not 20, but I don't even know. Are they 20 full price? I've never bought one at full price. Another reason to be a BoxyCharm member, <laughs> the Boxy sale. Uh, let's see, I got a couple things. Here's our, oh, our snack this month is good. It's the Euro chocolate. We've gotten this one before, the Euro dark chocolate bar from Sweet Wishes, $5. Their snack's always valued at $5, no matter what it is. Uh, so, yay, I will eat that. We've got from OK, uh, it's one of the Korean beauty brands, Clarifying Pink Fizz T-Zone Bubble Mask. Oh, it's one of those weird bubble masks. Gets all foamy on your face. <laughs> Let's see what they value this at, $5. So at least not quite as extreme, but realistically, I can probably get this on face to for like $253, um, but at least a little better in the pricing. And then there's the jewelry, which they'll say is like, let's see, $54. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. It's not $54 worth of jewelry, but who cares? It's $2 worth of jewelry for sure. <laughs> They're always cute. It's just ridiculous how much they value them at. Um, and I will actually probably use this necklace. It's really cute for Valentine's Day. I don't know if I'll do the earrings with it, but how cute is that? 
All right, so that's the single swag box if you're not familiar with it. Like I said, I paid $10 for it. The full value, if you were to buy this, just go on the website, pay full price. Don't know why you would do that, but if you did, um, you would pay 25 bucks for it. I don't know that I would love this box for 25 bucks. I would probably feel a little disappointed, um, but Single Swag is one of the few boxes out there that will let you go in and update the monthly code every month. Um, so if you keep track of that, you can actually continue whatever discount you can find for the month, which is usually 40% off. Um, the 50 percents are unusual which is why i like to buy for six months or a year at a time because uh, you lock in the discounted rate that you get for buying in bundles um, so if you buy the six month box instead of it being 24 dollars a month it's like 19 dollars a month or 18 dollars a month then you apply the 50 percent off coupon and that's how i ended up paying 10 dollars a box pretty good deal all right that's all i've got for um, this random roundup of boxes. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my random end of the month pile of boxes. No specific theme here. It's just extra boxes I had and I wanted to get out before February was over, um, but that didn't make it into earlier videos. So hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys very shortly uh, with another awesome video. All right, bye.